welcome welcome aries soulmate i'm kiki and welcome to our doorway let's see what's in store for december 5th to december 19th 2018 Mr. and Miss Aries. Okay. What actions will be taking place for Mr. and Miss Aries and their soulmate for December 5th to December 19th, 2018? What actions emotionally, energetically, for Mr. Perry, Mr. Aries, and so me. Okay, all right. A lot of cards trying to come out. Aries, your past wants you to know as a present that you are a love of action. You always go after the things you love with not only admiration, but you're very articulate in how you want to set what you love as an anchor. Hmm. Female Aries, your past wants you to know as your present that you have always had the capability of forgiveness. In order for you to have action, you knew and you know now that it takes someone to have an anchored sense of self, of identity, to even know what it means to forgive. When it's hard to forgive is when we feel at moments out of touch with what makes us grounded, our core values, when it's aggravated or even aggressively challenged by the people we love at moments. Yet you know that in order to forgive, you have to see in your own way how actions and the things we love takes courage and will. And when you have that courage and will, Miss Aries, you know, it also requires you to forgive the steps in which it takes to become successful, to be admired by others, by your actions in life. Soulmate, in your past that you're seeing as a present gift is that you already experienced what it means, soulmate, to have unrequited love. Just like the masculine and feminine had to understand, you soulmate are seeing that now you're seeing what is the requirements to have your love. And that means you're being reacquainted to yourself, how you love yourself. So the more you are loving yourself, soulmate, the more you're seeing that in your present life, you won't have to experience unrequited love because the relationships that you will have will require you to 
show your anchor of what is required to even receive your love. So, what's going to be taking place for the next two weeks emotionally and energetically for masculine, feminine, Aries, and soulmates? Masculine. Your first week, you're going to unravel what anchors you in the, your logic and what's fair to you. When we love people, we also try to recognize what is fair for both, not just us and our identity and what we value as our standard, but also how it can correlate or relate to another standard in someone else in that tide. You're seeing how you can weigh those balance out. Yes, it's okay to have standards, so you're seeing how going within to find out what has always made you feel anchored in love. What were the standards that you kept, masculine Aries, that made you feel grounded in it? And you're seeing how it can relate in the way you're going to pursue that in your love life. So, you're becoming more fair in your decision making and you're doing what is known for you and other people as right. You're standing up for your beliefs in the first week. Second week, Masculine Aries, that will give you the world of opportunity, that trinity, mm, showing your identity, your self-love, your core values of who you are, and how you communicate that. From you communicating that, you're seeing the justice will be served, but in a fair manner where it will not only show that the way you love is not just for you, you're showing that how you love is also anchored in other people as well. And in the second week, people are going to start recognizing you and you will start to see in yourself masculine Aries, that a job is well done, a joy and a contentment will be gratitude to you in your actions and your effort and making your love of life fair and logical, not just for you, but for others involved in your life. The path towards enlightenment is taking place. Female Aries for forgiveness Ah, see how the masculine side is tying into this. We are seeing why. You're becoming the boss of your passion, the, po the, the poise of your drive, female Aries. You're seeing that when it's too much at work, forgiving yourself for maybe overextending your, your time to others, you're seeing that you might want to slow down. So you will start to see who can carry that load for you and not have it as a burden. So accepting help from others would be necessary. Come on, you are an authority figure, Miss Aries. So like any authority figure, like any boss, you will have people that want to assist you on relieving that stress. So life may feel out of balance the first week, but you're finding ways in which to make that balance and to relieve the stress-related health concerns. When we're overworking, of course, our body is can become tired. And when we become tired, especially in the season, it can be exposed easily to sickness, which we might not want to do right now. So accepting help for others is necessary. And if that means forgiving people that may not have came through in the past, but who can come through right now in your present would be necessary. The second week, Miss Aries, from taking action and getting the right help from others to relieve you of your stress, just like now it makes sense why masculine Aries wanted to connect to the feminine Aries, just like them and seeing the logic and fairness in how they love life and the people that they love in their lives. You hold the wheel of change of gratitude, of forgiveness. When you forgive others and allow them to show you how much they appreciate you forgiving them by proving themselves now and becoming an anchor for you in time of need, 
You're seeing that a turn of events and a positive change will take place. A situation will suddenly move forward in your favor, Miss Aries, in the second week. Fortune is on your side. Soulmate, from seeing the anchorness of having the acquaintance of your love of self, the first week, you will be that night of earth, the night of your, not just your material requirements of self-respect and self-love, but the people in your lives, the way you connect to others. You will be seen as loyal, dedicated, and honorable. You're becoming kind to yourself and others. And from you becoming kind to yourself first, soulmate, you're seeing that those level of kindness will show you what is required to have your love. So, time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. Uh, you're a guardian angel. Not just for yourself, but for others. And how you love yourself. The second week, in showing yourself kindness and gratitude and others, will be that time to rest. To see, before you move forward in your actions, the second week going into the third week, soulmate, how loving yourself and seeing what is your standards in loving yourself and how that relates to your loyalty and dedication to that. Expecting the worst will not be of good favor for you, soulmate. That would explain why you had to experience unrequited or unrequited love in the past. In your present life, soulmate, expect to have beautiful expectations. You will start to self-fulfill your own prophecy of love. The more you see yourself as lovable, kind, and loyal, and dedicated, the more that thought of worse will fade away. And those sleepless nights will be replaced with soothing understanding of self first. Masculine, feminine, soulmate. You're stepping into understanding what is required to have love for yourself and how that love has anchored you in every facet of your life. How you anchor your drive, how you anchor your requirement of self-love, how you anchor your requirements of forgiveness of self. And as you're forgiving yourself, you're seeing how that relates to others. And that shows you that you hold the keys of self-love, of unconditional love. Out of all people, why would you not be the first in showing admiration and anchorness and authority to how you love yourself? That is a reflection of the way people will start to love you. I love you, Mr. and Miss Aries and soulmate. We will see you on the other side.